welcome back to my channel. I'm Jessica and today I have my update for the Emoji Project Pan. This was created by Lucy and she is going to be listed down below if you want to go check her out. This is a Fantastic Ladies collab and there is going to also be a spreadsheet down below of everyone that has joined in. This project is so stinking cute. I had to do it because, you know, I like the fun stuff. I think you are supposed to randomly pick or do it rolling however many prompts that you want to do. It's all based on the emojis that we all put in our texts and everything else. So yeah, I put them all in because, you know, clearly that's just what I do. There is 28 of them, 28 prompts, 28 emojis. Therefore, I have 28 products, which is kind of crazy pants. You know, I'm doing the fun thing this year. I'm just going hog wild, getting kind of crazy. So uh, the dates on this started on July 17th of this year. We'll go till July 17th of next year. Let's get into this update because I actually have three things rolling out and all of them are actually empties. They were not a goal met, they were empties, which I like. One of them was kind of like a gimme product, but you know, you gotta take what you can get. So the first one is my gimme product. It is for board, it's a boring item that's necessity in your collection. Face scrubs, they're not very exciting, but I use them all the stinking time. This is the Dermalogica Daily Microfoliant. It was just a foil sample. I think I got three uses out of this. That's pretty standard for these foils, for me anyway, and uh, she done. I've got more foil samples of those, and I think I have a deluxe size as well, so. And you know what? I have a full size in my inventory. I like this stuff. I really like this stuff. Highly recommend. The next empty is from the prompt sick or ill, and that is something green. And I chose the dog hair covered Island Miracle tea tree oil. That's the green right there. It was not hard to use up. You can see my progress lines and it's done. This is something that I put in my skincare because it helps with breakouts and yes, even as old as I am, I still get an occasional breakout, though I really don't much anymore because I faithfully use my tea tree oil. I just put it in my moisturizer at night in my nighttime skincare routine, one or two drops and just put it all in my hand with the moisturizer and then, you know, put it everywhere and it just works for me. I don't know if other people would be too sensitive using it, but for me, it absolutely works. Love it, love it, love it. All right, for the sleepy emoji, that is something you use at nighttime. Well, since I already have my tea tree oil in, this is one that I'm very sad is gone. This is Dermalogica Pre-Cleanse. Love this stuff, love it. I'm working on a different Dermalogical product. It's actually in this project, but there wasn't enough progress to show you, so I'm not even gonna bother with that. But it doesn't top the pre-cleanse. Absolutely love this stuff. And there is a strong possibility that I will repurchase that when I don't have any other kind of makeup removers because I really like it a whole lot. So those are my three empties, bringing me to a total of four prompts done in this project, which, you know, not too bad. We're not that far in. I still have 24 to go, though, and I'm about to show you three of them that are continuing on that I actually have a little bit of progress. This is the Collab Ultimate Eyes Cream Eye Color in Pearl Delight. It is really nice. I actually took this on vacation because I could use it as a, a base and an eyeshadow. Tons of products still in here. My goal is to finish this, which is kind of crazy. There is a lot of product in there, but I am actually making progress, as crazy as that sounds, with as much as there is in here still. Let me show you on the cap. It's probably going to be hard to see the purple. It was legit as tall as this cap. So it is right there on the edge and I am currently at the white line now. So not the most amazing progress in the world, but I am definitely making some progress and I'm really enjoying it. And these were pretty inexpensive. I wanna say it was under five bucks at Sally Beauty. Did I even tell you what the prompt was for that one? I don't think I did. That was for the emoji angry and that is something you wish or you're angry that you didn't buy before. So that is why I chose this one because I really like it and I wish I had purchased it before. All right, moving on to sad something blue. We've got the Avon Glazeware in crystal. It's got a blue cap on it. It is a dark blue, but it is still blue. 
and I'm making massive, massive progress on this. It was virtually brand new when I started. It was like up in here. This was last update and now I'm down here at this orange line. I am pretty certain this is going to be done by the next update. I wear it all the time and I can wear it even if I don't have any makeup on. No one's gonna notice if I've got lip gloss on instead of a lip balm because it's clear. All right, moving on to the very last one I'm gonna show you, that is the shy emoji. And that is a blush, which makes sense if you're shy and you blush. Tarte Party, because doesn't everyone have this one or did at one point? This was like a birthday gift like 6,000 years ago and I am making good progress on it and hopefully it will show up in the camera. I did not take this one on a vacation with me. I took another one that is a very similar color, but I might go back to working on this one. I kind of want to alternate and I've been using the other one a lot more for this past month. So I might try to go back to focusing on this one. I don't know if I can hit pan by the next update, but I think I'm going to get a lot closer. So I definitely think I'm going to have at least one empty. There's tons of other products in here that I have used, some I haven't used, so who knows what's gonna happen with those products, but I definitely think I'm gonna have at least the Avon Glaze Wearing Crystal done for you by the next update. Definitely go check out Lucy. She's gonna be linked down below. There's a spreadsheet down below. If you want to join in, you do not have to be a part of the Facebook group. Just go ahead and pick your prompts, pick them all pick a few, it's whatever you want to do, and just have at it. And let us know if you're joining in because, you know, we want to come check you out and support you, even if you're not part of the Facebook group. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until I see you on my next video, have a beautiful day.